Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be sharing with you what's in my cruise makeup bag. This is the makeup bag that I'm bringing. It's an Estee Lauder one. I love the color, the size is nice, and if you get it dirty, you can wipe it down. So, let's get started. I'm going to do the face first and this is uh, for primer. This is the Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shave Balm. It can be used as a primer. It works really well and um, the only downside is the size. It's just so big so I might have to transfer it to something else. But if it fits, I won't. Another primer that I'm bringing just for my pores is the NYX Pore Filler. I, It's not something that I love but it does do a decent job and I don't have anything else so I am going to be bringing those too. Uh, for foundation, I am bringing two as well. This is the first one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and this is good for during the day. Uh, and it gives really great coverage. I love full coverage. I feel like my face needs it. I'm not wearing any makeup now except for I'm testing out an eyeliner and mascara. Uh, but yeah, I just love full coverage because I have hyperpigmentation issues and just. You know, uh, and the other one that I'm bringing for night because it doesn't have SPF is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. For for concealer, I am bringing this is a brightener, uh, the Clarins Instant Light Perfecting Touch, and concealer is the Skin Food Salmon Dark Circle Concealer. It looks like that, and I love this one. I haven't used it in a while, but uh, I want to bring it with me because I really like it and. Next is a powder, and this is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat, and it comes with a puff inside, which I am going to be using for baking, so that's nice that it's already in here, and this is just a really great powder. It's smooth, it gives coverage, and it's just a really nice overall powder, so I'm bringing that uh, for contour. I am bringing the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and this is just a great uh contour bronzing uh, set because they give you such a variety and you could also double this as eyeshadow if you wanted to um, I the contour you know I'm gonna use for contouring and then the highlight shades I am gonna use for baking so I just I was gonna bring two separate products for each but I was just like you know what let me just bring this palette because um, it has so many options for blush I was gonna see. I was gonna bring the Nars and Steven, Steve Klein or Stephen Klein uh, palette, but I just felt like I would. I like the variety more in this in terms of blushes. This is the Elf palette in dark, and they're four distinct blushes, and I love these. They're so pigmented and just wonderful blushes. So I'm bringing that for blush for highlight. This is the Hourglass Ambient Light palette, and I use this pretty much every day for highlighting if I want like a natural and subtle highlight uh, so I could use this for during the day or at night as well if I don't want to go too crazy with my highlight uh, but if I want to this is the Becca uh, shimmering skin perfector in opal and I haven't really given this much love but it is so beautiful and um, on the two formal nights, I definitely want to go a little bit more dramatic with my makeup. So I am bringing that. And for face spray, this is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist Set. I've raved about this for a long time. And this is probably my favorite face spray uh, by far. And I've tried a lot. So I want to bring something that I know works. And for face brushes, this is... a. Uh, the Beauty Blender, I'm bringing this with me. Um, this is probably my favorite way to apply my foundation. And I never thought I would say it. I'm always a brush girl. I've been always a brush girl, but I love the Beauty Blender. So I'm bringing that. And to go along with that, this is um, Dr. Bronner soap. I put it into a different bottle uh, so that I could wash my Beauty Blender. For powder, I'm bringing my Makeup Forever Kabuki brush because it's small and it works really well. Uh, this is for highlight. It's from an eBay set. This is uh, the e.l.f. blending brush for contouring. I love this brush. And for blush, I am bringing this, this is the Up and Up from Target. Uh, this could also work as a contour brush if I wanted it to. And then this is, I'm not sure what to call this brush. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a 
stipple brush, sorry, <laughs> uh, um, but this could be for blush, for contour, for powder, for highlight. So I want to bring this just in case my other brushes are dirty, uh, but I can't wash my brushes because I'm bringing the Dr. Bronner. So uh, let's do eyes. Uh, so for eyes, I was having a, I wasn't sure what to bring. I am a very simple makeup person in terms of eyes, but I know that I always like to have the option of doing, you know, something different. Uh, so I'm bringing the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. This is just a amazing palette, and it's going to give me a variety of looks, which I really want on when I'm on the my trip just because I won't be close to home and I'm like I won't be able to run home and get pick something up if I want to change my look so this could give me a variety of looks some of them some of the eyeshadows can be worn as liner and this could give me a dramatic look if I wanted to or uh, a neutral look so I'm definitely going to be bringing this this it was, I was debating between this and the Urban Decay Naked One palette because I love that one too but I decided to go with this and to supplement that I am bringing the Bomb Shady Lady Volume 1 palette and these colors are just so beautiful and if I wanted to add some shimmer this is a great palette and also uh, these darker colors right here the blue the green and the brown can act as liners and uh, can also set uh, li the liners that I am bringing so this is the three liners that I'm bringing uh, Marc Jacobs, the brown and the black, and then this is from a Mimi Box uh, IPKN uh, gel eyeliner in blue. And I've been loving putting blue eyeliner underneath my eyes. And this, like I said, this blue can set that, and there's the brown there. So um, I'm bringing those, and I have these eyelashes. I've been because this eye right here, it's losing lashes, so it kind of looks not the same uh, so I thought I would bring these just in case I needed it and I have stuck in some false eyelashes there and of course you need eyelash glue this is a duo and for uh, bases I am bringing these two one is a color tattoo in creamy beige and this is nice if you don't want to wear any eyeshadow um, uh, just to, and you want just something in your eyes on your eyes and then this is the e.l.f. smudge pot in wine knot and this is just a beautiful again you can wear this alone but when you top it with something it just is really really pretty so I'm bringing that and for a primer I am bringing the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer for eyebrows I'm bringing this is the NYX tinted brow mascara I really like this I just tried it yesterday uh, it is in the color espresso, but this brush is really nice and um, Sometimes when I know my eyebrows now they don't look like um, You can't really see them. So that's why in pictures I like to have a little bit of brow something on my brows just so that my eyebrows don't look like they faded into nothing um, for eyeliner, I am bringing the Milani Infinite Liquid Eyeliner. Love this. I am wearing it now. Um, I just want to double check that it's going to stay, and it does. I'm probably only going to buy this from now on because this is just an amazing eyeliner. Uh, for lips, oh, you know what? Let me do the eye brushes. So I am bringing these eye brushes. So I have dog hair everywhere I have two of these type of blending brushes and these are good to lay down shadow and also to blend and then this is my uh, let's see sorry this is sick so this is the elf blending brush this is the Sigma one and then this is an elf uh, blending brush but it's this type of shape and this is great too uh, I thought I would bring this is one end is a spoolie and the other is eyebrow but you know what actually I don't think I need this I'm gonna no you know what I'm gonna bring it just because I want to brush out my brows okay uh, then this is a smudger brush and I thought this would be good to bring this is the stigma one and of course the eyelash curler this is the Sonia Kashuk favorite eyeliner I mean eyelash curler of life and then this is the Sonia Kashuk uh, duo ended um, this is for to brush out your lashes and this is to brush out your brows 
and for mascara I am bringing two uh, this gives me length and separation and this holds my curl so uh, these two I am trying to finish up and I think I mentioned that I was going to try the CoverGirl Clump Crusher and I that's what I'm testing out now but it doesn't hold my curl which I am really surprised because it's waterproof so I was kind of disappointed in that so I am going to end up bringing these two and for lipsticks I have several here uh, so one I'm missing an eye oh here it is so I'm bringing a two reds this is Givenchy's Granny uh, granny in a tea in a tie butchered that uh, but this is kind of like a darker red and then I'm bringing this lip liner um, this is the NYX in Ruby and then uh, I'm bringing max Ruby woo just love this color and I feel like it looks really good on everyone uh, not that everyone's going to be using my lipstick. Uh, and then I wanted to bring a purple. This is the Vibrant Violet Matte by Maybelline. And then here is a really dark color. I'll get Maybelline Burgundy Blush. And for a neutral lip, this is the NYX Suede Liquid Suede in Soft Spoken. I love this. This is probably the one that I'm going to wear uh, most likely day to day. And the last couple of things here, uh, the nail polishes that I'm bringing. I'm, I'm getting my nails done hopefully tomorrow, so I want to get a gel manicure just so I don't have to worry about my uh, fingers. And then for my toes, I'm bringing these two. Um, I'm going to paint my toes for the first part of the trip with this. Uh, this is the Kiko uh, number 530, and it's just a really pretty blue color uh, with shimmer. And then uh, this is the one in 491, and this is just a really fun orange color. What you see right now is the color that you get. Uh, so I'm bringing that. And then for fun, I thought I would bring, this is the... You know, those tattoos the skin tattoos and um, I thought if I'm gonna wear this at any time that I would wear it for this trip I think that would look kind of cute so that is what is in my cruise makeup bag I will go through this one more time I feel like it's a lot of stuff um, especially with the lipstick and the eyes so yeah I'm gonna have to go through that but again like I said I'm just thinking of situations that might arise uh where what like, i'm not gonna be you know anywhere near a makeup store and i'm not gonna spend uh, i'm not sure if the cruise ship even has makeup but i'm not gonna be buying mascara or like powder or anything so um, i just want to make sure that i have everything and i'm pretty happy with the things that i chose um yeah, so that is what's in my makeup uh, bag for my trip. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!